Today we're going to show you the most peculiar abandoned building on our property and also the creepiest. The last time we went there, you know, mm -hmm. there was a noise inside and I went with Ziggy and Ziggy ran off. Great, okay. Let's go. Come, why are you not coming? Uh, no, you can go first. <laughs> Did you open the door? No. You know what, maybe I get Ziggy. He's older now. Now he will be able to protect us. He's a fierce guard dog, look at him. Look at that face. Are you ready to go into the scary building? He's a ferocious beast now. Come, ferocious beast. Here. You see? Yes. Somebody in here? Somebody touched it? All these massive barrels, Anna. Yeah, they're crazy. Look how big this one is. It's your size. It's bigger crazy. than you. crazy. So a hundred years ago, the previous owners of the chateau created cider and calvados. And these would have been to store all of the calvados in, I guess, no? Yeah, but I think they are all empty. Unfortunately, they sound very empty, yeah. Every precious drop has been bottled and sold. They stopped in 1974, and we actually do have about this much in the bottom of a tiny old bottle from 1974 from one of the last bottles that they ever made. It's very precious, old Calvados. It's like old whiskey, can you? So if this barrel would be full, yeah. it probably would finance our renovations. They're beautiful though, Anna. They are. What should we do with these barrels? Either we could get creative and we could make like hot tubs out of them. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, dog house for Ziggy. This one would be perfect size. Look, they, look there's some beautiful wow. carved. That is beautiful. I don't know what that is. That's probably somewhere. I don't know. Probably it was used for closing something. It's beautiful. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look, Anna. Yeah. Here. Yeah. It looks like. There might be something in it. There's something in it. No, 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 not without anything underneath it. I'll put my hand under it. No, nothing's nah. coming out. Unfortunately not. Mm, it's just some spider webs. Yeah. Look at these beautiful brass taps. Yeah, beautiful. And this is massive. This is, this is my size. This would be perfect size for a hot tub for me. <laughs> We've never been there though, because as you can see, some animals lived in the ceiling and they ate the polystyrene. And so it's a little bit gross here. But for you guys, and for the progress of human knowledge, we walk in here. Okay. Despite the spider webs and potential animals living here. Look, there's some really pretty details. Look at this. They have this it's metal. It's brass, oh. brass probably. Even the wood that was used, look. It's like polished. There's another part to explore. It's even darker and more dirty than here. But let's let's explore it. Do you want to take Ziggy with you? Yes, protect me. And Ziggy and the light. There's a really funny smell, like a funky smell. In case of fire, there's a fire extinguisher. Consider yourself lucky that you can't smell through video. Ooh, look at this. Philip, what do you think all of these bottles are? Oh, some brand new. Brand new bottles. bottles. Nice shape. Yeah. This is pretty. This? this? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That this would should... be useful, actually. Yeah. For watering or something. Yeah. Some more old bottles. Oh, it's full. No way. You're it's actually me. got an apple in it. Can you see that? No. No way. Can you see that? Look. Oh, look. No I hold, hold way. Water Don't pear. drop it. Don't drop it. Can you see the pear? Yes. We need to open this. This is. This is probably. I'm pretty sure this is Calvados. Oh my God! Ziggy's about to fall down a hole. Oh my God, Philip! I've never seen that there's a hole. Have you seen that? No. Could have fallen in it. 
It must be to clean when they, you know, when they clean the barrels or something. Yeah. They they pump the water out afterwards. It's a bit. I, th I think this room needs a bit of clean up before we can rent it out to our guests. Yeah. You could have a good sniff around. Just, oh, what are all those papers? I don't know. It's very strange. Ooh, disgusting. I'm a full of spider webs. I think he's got some gross thing on his head. Oh no, oh, Ziggy. Ugh, Ugh gross. Ugh. How many dead spiders are in there? Look, can you see that? I don't know if they can see oh. that. That's, oh God, your, your head is really close to cobweb as well. Oh, no. And Ziggy's all in the cobwebs. Ugh, Ziggy, come. This is not the place to come if you're arachnophobic. Is that the word? No, the right word is pussy. Alcometre. Oh, you know what that is? That's to, to measure the alcohol content and the sugar content of liquids. Oh look, is there one left in here? Look. Careful, they're really fragile. Really? You, that. you see? You put it in a liquid and then depending how how it floats, it will tell you the alcohol content. And this is a chemistry lab here. We just found a chemistry lab measuring Heisenberg. What's this? Cigarette? Oh look, there's some plaque, but they are all behind tons of spider webs. Oh, that's what cool. Does it say? Oh, uh, that would be super cool. Ugh. What I'm doing here? Ugh. I hope there's no massive spiders coming out. <laughs> that might be some like medals or something they won. Wow. How cool is that? They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Oh, Ziggy is absolutely oh, covered. He looks like he's going to a Halloween party. Oh, no, Ziggy, poor Ziggy. Ziggy you're full of... You're covered. Ugh. Oh, great. Well, it's our fault. Do you want to grab the bottle? No, I don't want to grab the bottle. What, do we have anything else here as well? Look. Oh, there's another one. I can't believe it. I know, these are amazing. We need, to tr we need to try them. We need to see what is in there. How do you know they're not, like, just gone off? No, if that's Calvados, it's not gone. It looks nice. Look. It looks yummy. It's 45% alcohol. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. What was that? That was something walking. Something up there on the roof. Okay. Is so, that the noise you heard last time? No, it was louder. It was like a... Oh, I've heard that before. Yeah? Sad one. That's three bottles. If this is 56... Ah! It wasn't that big. Uh, well, I think all the Australians will be laughing, saying, oh my god, that's nothing. Well, for Normandy, this is a really big spider. And there's a glass. We could, we could try. Now, I'm definitely going to take these bottles with me. And I want to find out when I open them. Or well, maybe not. Maybe this is the solution for our innovation. If this is 50, 60 year old Calvados, that might be worth a fortune. You're tasting it. I'm not tasting it, Philip. The children should taste it. We can tell them it's apple juice. 50 year old apple juice. Yeah, they don't know. They don't mind. You're the guinea pig, Philip. All right. Look what's there. Look here. Other chemicals. Little bottles. Can you see this? Yeah. Does it have anything written on it? No. I think it's time to get out of here. Yeah. We lost the lights. Ziggy's like pulling me out. He's like, let's get out of here. Yeah, of course. Get those cobwebs off me. Poor Ziggy. Oh, Zig. As the handsome, globally admired, yet so humble influencer, I find my inbox flooded by advertising offers for our channel. And because I need the money to feed my family and more importantly to buy a sailboat, I generally say yes to everything. Everything but one genre, and that's computer games. Simply because I don't play. I found out as a young man that success in gaming is generally inversely proportional to success with females. So I had to pick one of the pleasures. It doesn't matter anymore because I'm married now. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I got an email about a game called Merch Gardens. They said it's a good fit for our channel because it's about creating a garden around a manor house. I had to check it out and obviously I got hooked. It's good fun, a casual game where you solve puzzles and build your flower beds, plant trees and feed birds with nectar to slowly grow an amazing garden, just like here at the Chateau. Only that in this game, even picking weeds is enjoyable and the birds don't poop on your deck chairs. Of course, it wouldn't go down well with Anna if I sat down while she's working, so I have to hide to organize and grow my garden or to go through a few puzzle levels. 
Philip, are you going to be long in there? Almost done. Oh, okay. What are these noises? Can I have a bit of privacy, please? Okay. Look at those enchantingly beautiful flowers and wildlife. The graphics are honestly so beautiful, it makes playing an absolute delight. If you would like to try this fun game, discover new places and items for your grand decorations, scan this QR code or click in the link in the description. It's totally free to play and you will enjoy it. I'm happy we are outside again. Yeah, but we're not quite done with our little tour, are we? No, there's another building about 20 meters from here. Yeah. I can explore that as well because I think they are kind of connected. Yeah, I Let's think so. I'll show you here. You may think, what is this? I mean, it looks like trees, right? But there is a building under there. Follow me. This is the Japanese knotweed forest. You see how beautiful Japanese knotweed is? That's why people imported it in the first place. And now it's growing everywhere here, like a pest. Hello. This building has been completely overtaken by nature, let's say. But there is a structure here. And be careful because there's a massive hole here in the ground, if you can see. Is this the most Blair Witchy building of all of our buildings? Probably. It's pretty scary in here. I think that they would have been using this building to maybe bottle the Calvados and then they stored it here because there's a lot of crates. They're actually kind of cool. They've got Gonville Sauron Fleur. That's our village written on it. There's quite a lot of them. Most of these bottles are unfortunately empty. I, th I take all of them out. Probably. I think, yeah, they're all empty. What is this, Anna? This? Yeah. I don't know. Let me get my phone. Let me kind of see if I can shine a bit of light in there. Oh, oh, looks like some old wallpaper. Oh, look. What's under there? What have you found? I don't know. What's this? Chimney. Chimney. Bugs. Some books. Ooh. Rats. Spiders. There's a part of a barrel over there. Careful where you're walking. Because yeah, there's more holes here under all of this. Yes. This is there to stop us falling into the holes. Yes. Do you think there's a cellar underneath? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe one day we'll discover. More bottles, more crates. One day we will clear all of this and then I don't think there's going to be much to save, to be honest. Oh look, some, some weightlifting weights. That must have been a, a gym. I don't really want to tread anywhere. I feel like everything might just... Collapse. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, there's like a saw or something here, look. Oh yeah, wow. That looks dangerous. Yeah. Here, there is I, what I think is a water tank. Oh yes, that looks like some sort of tank. And that looks like a milk crate. A milk cart. It does. It does look like we were in the middle of the jungle, doesn't it? We could shoot a new Rambo movie here. I would be Rambo, of course. And you would be the evil Viet Cong. But all this exploring made me thirsty. I think it's time to try the Calvados. If there was a label ever, I don't think so. Well, I did some delicious calvados or, or residues of chemical procedures. Or it reminds me of some kind of exhibit from the Natural History Museum. You know, these jars that you have uh, preserved things in. I don't know what it could be, but pretty creepy, right? How did you get the pear inside the bottle? When the pears are very small on the trees, they put the bottles over the top of them. Is it true? I yeah. thought that was a rumor. No, or I think they even probably put it in when it's like the tiniest, tiniest bud, and then it grows inside the bottle. So there's a tree with full of bottles. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. Yeah. And look at this bottle. It doesn't look like a new bottle. It's 
It's an old-fashioned bottle. Yeah, it's got a really, look, it's got yeah. a really thick bottom. Is, I think this is really old, Anna. If they stopped producing in 1974, yes. well, it's at least two years older than you, so it's very old. That's crazy that they left it here. They obviously forgot that there was some in there. Look, look. Look. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to let you try it first. And if you don't die, then I'll try it. I have a better idea. Paper, rock, scissors. Ready? Okay, one. One, two, two three. three. Oh! Yes! How do you know I have to do this three times? No, I knew you were going to say that. Why? I was going to say it if I lost, but I won't okay. say. So. Okay. How does it smell? Hang on. <laughs> it just smells good. Oh, wow. Let's just wipe the residue off. We are drinking some alcohol that hasn't seen the air for maybe 50 years. Oh, longer. How are you feeling, Philip? I'm super excited. I'm actually shaking a little bit. So you're not nervous at all that it might be poison or something? Absolutely not. I smell it and it smells like... Wow, it smells... Really <laughs> it smells good. amazing. And I'm not normally a Calvados fan, but... I mean, it smells like an amazing whiskey. Okay, now I'm a bit jealous. I'm going to try it as well, come on. You're going to try it as well? I'm going to try it as well. Alright. Cheers, my love. Cheers, darling. I, I will be careful though when you drink it. It's good. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's really strong, but it's really good. And it's so good. Now it's my turn, because obviously I didn't try it until you tried it and I could check it wasn't yes. poison, but. Oh yeah, it's very good. Mm. Oh wow. That's crazy. What a find. A very kind lady called Peggy saw us on YouTube and recognized the chateau and got in touch and told me that 20 odd years ago she came to buy one of the last bottles of Calvados that the chateau was selling and it's from 1974. And there was actually a little bit of Calvados left in here. I don't know. We haven't found the right occasion to try it because it's so precious. Because this doesn't exist anymore, except actually we found some. This is so exciting. No? Should we try it? So this Calvados is two years older than you, Philip. And just like this Calvados, I got better with age. Now you're trying the other one. What do you think? I need to try again. This tastes more like it has been in a barrel. Yeah, a bit more oaky. A bit more oaky. This slightly less oaky, but it has much more flavor, this one. I mean, this is very good, but I would say this is by far superior. But it, it does taste of pear. What an exciting find, isn't it? That's so exciting. You may remember this shoebox, which we inherited with the chateau, and it is full of old labels for Calvados and cider. For example, this is almost identical to the one that's on this bottle. And oh, look at this one. I love this one. How beautiful is that? With a picture of the chateau. And this one, I love this one. I love this one because it has the old map. Can you see there's Enfleur and the old boat? It's beautiful. And this was the previous owner who bought the chateau over 100 years ago and his son. And they won the gold medal at the Foire de Paris Nine. in 1930. This would be here. Yeah. Look, there would have been maybe this as well, for example. That liquor was brewed here 50, 60, 70, maybe 100 years ago. So we could easily fake a bottle sell it for a lot of money. And it probably wouldn't even be a fake because this might as well be 1937. But it doesn't matter. 
because we're going to drink it anyway. And unless somebody writes in the comments, this is worth 50,000 euros, then I would think about it. Cheers. Cheers. We're literally drinking the history of our chateau right now. It's the most amazing discovery, isn't it? Yeah. So good. Amazing. And we wouldn't have found it if it wasn't for the YouTube video that we made to show you guys the laboratory. So thank you. Thank you for helping us finding this. Sante. Sante. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>